I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to represent vectors in three dimensions or R3 or three space. Represent the position vector u minus 1, 2, minus 2 in R3. That's the first part. Find unit vector and the angles it makes with x, y, and z axis. So we are given the vector u, which is 1 with a negative sign, 2 minus 2. And we have to represent this as position vector. So when I say position vector, what does it mean? It really means that the tail is at 0, 0 origin, correct? That's what it means. OK, so let's see how to do this. So we'll draw x, y, z axis. This is x positive, y positive direction, z positive direction. When I say along x as it is minus 1, we actually go to the other side. This is positive direction, right? So from origin, the tail is at origin, OK? We go minus 1. Let's say this is 1 unit. So that is minus 1. 2 positive along y. So we move in this direction 1 and another one. It's 2, right? That is 2. And minus 2 along c means we have to go downwards, right? So it is kind of 1 and 2. So there you go. To give you a better picture, we can form a 3D figure. Do you see that? Drawing lines parallel, lines parallel, that gives you the box and within this box will represent the vector u. So tail and head at that point, right, so it is kind of like this, do you see that? So that becomes our vector. So let me write it, show it bold here. Okay. So this is the vector u, which is minus 1, 2, minus 2. Okay. Now as an exercise, what you can do is, you can label all other points. This will be minus 1, 0, 0. This will be minus 1. Then you move 2 along y, 0 along z, and this is minus 1, 2, minus 2. Likewise, you could put all other points also. So we have done the first part, which is representing position vector in R3. Now let's do the next part, which is find unit vector. So what is a unit vector? Unit vector should have magnitude of 1, right? So unit vector means magnitude is 1. That is what unit vector is, but same direction. Correct? So unit vector is kind of like this. And one of the ways to represent is u with this sign. So the vector is given to us. How do we get a magnitude of 1? Well, if I divide the vector by its magnitude, I get unit vector. It's so simple, right? So let's do it. So that's what we have. Vector is minus, I mean, sorry, let me write here. Minus 1, 2, minus 2. And the magnitude is, well, add squares of each direction numbers. These are called the direction numbers, right? Minus 1 square is 1, plus 2 square is 4, plus 2 square is 4, square root. And that gives you square root of 9, or you can say 1 over 3 of minus 1, 2, minus 2. Okay. So let me rewrite this unit vector here as minus 1 over 3, 2 over 3, and minus 2 over 3. Okay. So we're in the second part, that is to find the unit vector. So remember to find unit vector, you have to divide the vector by its magnitude. The last part here is about direction numbers. 
uh, the angle it makes with x y z axis right now as you can see the particular vector we have u makes an angle with x we'll call this x angle as alpha that's standard with y beta and with z we call this as gamma so alpha beta and gamma are the three angles which a vector will make with each axis normally uh, let me show you here just to explain you the point with a very simple example if I have a vector kind of like this let's say right now the angle which it makes with y axis is beta if the magnitude is 1 then this distance is how much this distance is cos beta do you see that so cos beta actually is in the unit vector the direction number and therefore uh, you could actually see a unit vector as as let me write down here unit vector could also be written as cosine of alpha cosine of beta and cosine of gamma so when it makes angle alpha beta and gamma then the unit vector will actually will be each direction number will be its cosine so we also call them as direction cosines remember that right so that's the relation of finding the angle so to find alpha we can say cos alpha is equal to minus 1 over 3 and therefore alpha is cos inverse of minus 1 over 3 right cos beta is 2 over 3 so beta is cos inverse of 2 over 3 and cos gamma is minus 2 over 3 so gamma is cos inverse of minus 2 over 3 does it make sense to you correct let's use the calculator to figure it out minus basically means you are in quadrant 2 so we expect obtuse angles for these two acute angle here perfect so so alpha is cos inverse of 1 over 3 which is cos inverse minus 1 divided by 3 bracket close equal to it is equals to 109.4 let's keep it 109 degrees we'll just round it beta is equals to this approximately uh, cos inverse of 2 over 3 2 divided by 3 bracket close equals to 48.1 we'll just write this as 48 degrees and gamma equals to cos inverse of minus 2 divided by 3 which is 131.8 so we can write this as 132 degrees is it okay so approximately these are the angles which vector u will make with each axis so i hope the steps are very clear so we have understood how to represent a vector rather a position vector in R3, how to find its unit vector and directions. Perfect. Feel free to share your comments and views. If you like and subscribe, that'll be great. Thanks for watching.